This week was National Safe School Week. Now, it wasn't long ago that every day was safe in our schools, but those days are apparently gone and it is unlikely to improve, especially when you consider President Obama has put Kevin Jennings in charge of safe schools. Now, I waited for President Obama's safe school czar, Mr. Jennings, to make a speech about how he was going to work to make our public school classrooms safer for all kids, regardless of their religious or moral convictions. But that message never came. Instead, it was revealed this week that Kevin Jennings helped underwrite a vile and profane exhibit that began last week at Harvard University, detailing the history of the radical homosexual group ACT UP. A press release from Harvard described the exhibit as a collection of, quote, over 70 politically charged posters, stickers, and other visual media that emerged during the pivotal moment of AIDS activism in New York City, end quote. In addition to the purely pornographic, which I'm not going to show you, are the attacks against religious and political leaders like the late Cardinal O'Connor, Ronald Reagan, and George H.W. Bush, and others who did not embrace their agenda. One poster of two men dressed in sailor uniforms locked in a kissing embrace said, quote, fight homophobia, fight AIDS, as if to say, if only these leaders would bow to our pressure and normalize homosexuality, all our AIDS problems would go away. Well, there is a reason that Kevin Jennings, the president's safe school czar, would underwrite this pornographic exhibit that promoted an intolerant, hate-driven organization called ACT UP. And here is Kevin Jennings' partner, Jeff Davis, to explain. Um, I'm Kevin Jennings' partner. And we've been together for uh, 14 years. And this is the first time in 14 years I get the mic. They told me I've had three minutes, so. That's unfortunate, because that's not going to work. So grab your drinks. <laughs> you Joe's six-packs out there. Um, and uh, I'm going to tell you about a maverick. So you can imagine, here's Kevin Jennings and me. So our first few interactions were challenging for both of us. He was a member of ACT UP. ACT UP. So it's like, you know, he was a big gay activist, big gay activist. And he was this really big liberal. Mr. President, it is obvious that Mr. Davis knows Kevin Jennings better than you do. But now that you know he is or was a member of an organization that has desecrated churches, attacked and intimidated those who disagree with their radical homosexual agenda, isn't it clear that the last place he should be serving is as your safe schools are? For more, visit frc.org.